Hello Acousticadians, welcome to episode 4. Uh, thanks again to Molly, great to have all these contributions coming in, absolutely lovely. Hope everybody's enjoying it, hope everybody's safe, everybody's well. Do please let other people know, send the links around, get people watching it. It's absolutely great, lovely. So enjoy episode 4. Bye. People, it's time for Digicoustica episode four. This week, I've got a game for you all. It's Acoustica Trivia Quiz. The quiz question is, can you name three venues that Acoustica has taken place on over the years? Three venues. So please submit your answers to Bert. I will reveal the answers in episode five. Let's not mess around. First up, it's Chris Medley! Hi everyone. Many years ago when I was a young lad, I went to see the uh, the rock and roll singers, the Everly Brothers, Don and Phil. They came down to Cornwall and I went along with my um, girlfriend at the time and, um, and they played this particular song called Bye Bye Love. It's about, obviously as most of us know, a boy singing about a long lost love. He'd come home from school one day and she'd given him a push. And then he saw her walking down the road with another with another boyfriend. Now believe it or not, but after the show finished, my girlfriend actually gave me the big E and said, bugger off, you know, I've got someone up. And so, um, hang on a second, I can feel the tears running up here. And um, I like to play the songs, you know, and take myself back to those days when I knew nothing about life. Okay? And um, so, the Everly Brothers, Bye Bye Love, and hopefully for the older of us, they bring you back a few memories as well. Okay. Thank you. I'll just wipe away those tears a moment. Okay, till next time. Bye. 
Oh my god. I've just sat on a packet of crisps. Chris, you absolute stunner. I really enjoyed the passionate way you were singing along. I just wanted to know what you were saying. Unfortunately, I can't lip read, so I don't know what the words were. Also, strong t-shirt this week. Next up is Jill, woohoo! Hi, this is a slow jazz piece by jazz composer Mike Cornick. It's called The Blue Piano. It's feeling kind of blue. Jill, I did not realise you could play the piano. That was beautiful. Um, I'm feeling very mellow now. Don't know about you guys, for a change for me. Um, so I want to continue the mellow mood. Uh, this is Adrian. Thank you for the invite, Bert. Uh, it's an old song. Found it today. Didn't know I'd written it. Um, don't remember the melody very well. Don't remember the chords very well. Thought I'd give it a bash. Why not? <laughs> streets of this town are familiar to me The places and faces that I've always seen The echoes and the wraiths and the ghosts from my past Of years gone by that I thought would last And at twelve o'clock when the whistle would sound And the men from the factories they would walk into town and they'd walk down the main street and they'd have their fill And if life was fair, they'd be doing it still Its heart was ripped out in 75 Within ten years it was barely alive No special developments or central funds could ever begin to undo what was done And at twelve o'clock, well, the whistle would sound And the men from the factories, they would walk into town And they'd walk down the main street and they'd have their fill And if life was fair, they'd be doing it still The streets of this town dirty and poor and people still stay but they don't know what for 
No jobs, no hope, no dreams, no pride With no place to go and no place to hide And at twelve o'clock, well, a whistle would sound And the men from the factories, they would walk into town And they'd walk down Main Street and they'd have their fill And if life was fair streets of this town are familiar to me The places and faces that I've always seen They're the echoes and the wraiths and the ghosts of my past Of years gone by that I hoped would last And at twelve o'clock, well, the whistle would sound And the men from Holmes, they would walk into town street and have their fill and if life was fair they'd be doing it still cool i liked that adrian i've got to say my expectations were low based on the introduction but you pff, exceeded them really nice song really nice singing i really like your voice um next up i'm gonna pick up the tempo with good old andy now here's a song they just sing down Dovan Way, early part of September. So here we go, Whittycombe Fair. Tom Pierce, Tom Pierce, lend me your grey mare. All along down Long Out Long Lee, forming what to go down to Whittycombe Fair with Bill Brewer, Dan Stewart, Peter Gurney, Peter Davy, Donald Whitten, Harry Hawk, Old Uncle Tom Cobbley and all. And Uncle Tom Cobbley and all. When will I see my grey mare back from the fair? All along down, long out, long lee. Why come Friday soon or Saturday noon? With Bill Brewer, Jan Stower, Peter Gurney, Peter Davy, Donald Whedon, Harry Hawk, and old Uncle Tom Cobbley and all. And Uncle Tom Cobbley and all. So they harnessed and bridled Tom Pierce's grey mare. All along down, long out, long lee, and off they all roll down to Widdicombe Fair, with Bill Brewer, John Stewart, Peter Gurney, Peter Davy, Donald Whedon, Harry Hawk, and old Uncle Tom Cobbley, and all, and Uncle Tom Cobbley, and all. Now Friday comes soon, and Saturday noon, all along down, long out, long lee, but Tom Pierce's grey mare hath not yet trotted home. With Bill Brewer, Jan Stewart, Peter Gurney, Peter Davy, Donald Whedon, Harry Hook, and old Uncle Tom Cobbley and all, and Uncle Tom Cobbley and all. So Tom Pierce went up to the top of the hill over there, all along down, long out, long lee. But he's seen his grey mare down on making her will with Bill Brewer, Jan Stewart, Peter Gurney, Peter Davy, Daniel Whedon, Harry Hook, and old Uncle Tom Cobbley and all, and Uncle Tom Cobbley and all. Now Tom Pierce's grey mare, her took sick and her died. Oh, all along and down out long lee. And Tom Pierce, he sat down on a stone and he cried with Bill Brewer, Jan Stewart, Peter Gurney, Peter Davy, Donald Whedon, Harry Hawk, and old Uncle Tom Cobbley and all, and Uncle Tom Cobbley and all. But this be not the end of this shocking affair. Oh no, no. All along down, long out, long lee. Nor though they're long past of the grisly careers of Bill Brewer, Jan Stewart, Peter Gurney, Peter Davy, Daniel Whedon, Harry Hawk, and old Uncle Tom Cobbley and all, and Uncle Tom Cobbley and all. For when the wind whistles cold, or that more of a night, all along down, long out, long lee, 
Tom Pierce's grey mare doth appear ghastly white with Bill Brewer, Jan Stower, Peter Gurney, Peter Davy, Daniel Whidden, Harry Hook, and old Uncle Tom Cobbley and all. And Uncle Tom Cobbley and all. There's one more. And all night long be heard girdings and groans all along down, long out, long lee, from Tom Pierce's grey mare and the rattling bones of Bill Brewer, Jan Stewart, Peter Gurney, Peter Davy, Donald Whidden, Harry Hawk, and old Uncle Tom Cobbley and all, and Uncle Tom Cobbley and all, oh, ho, oh, oh. Well, that was brilliant. <laughs> Thank you, Angie. That really made me feel like I was on the boat because I've heard you do that one before and I always thoroughly enjoy it. Right, next up we've got uh, Dan from the Roseland who is going to be playing a song called Chitlin's, sorry, I'm just reading, Chitlin's Konkani by Junior Wells. Enjoy. <laughs> like to see Dan on the boat doing that after lockdown. <laughs> I'm sure you all put your hands up too. Okay, next up we've got Mike Williams. Hello. Um, there was a time when doing this next song was guaranteed to get you thrown out of a folk club. Not that it's a bad song, it's just that it was done so much that I think people got a little bit tired of it. Even the person who wrote it, who was Ralph Mattel, I think, got a little bit tired of it. Um, but I've always liked it. And um, I've actually had somebody email me and say, would I mind doing it? So what can I say? Here goes. <laughs> papers with his worn out shoes in his eyes you see no pride and loosely at his side yesterday's papers tell him yesterday's news so how can you tell me your Let me 
take you by the hand I'll lead you through the streets of London I'll show you something to make you change your mind Have you seen the old girl who walks the streets of London? Dirt in her hair and her clothes in rags. She's no time for talking, she just keeps right on walking, carrying her home into carrier bags. So, how can you tell me your love? night cafe at a quarter past eleven Same old man sitting there on his own Looking at the world over the rim of his teacup Each tea lasts an hour and then he wanders home alone So how can you tell me your Take you by the hand, I'll lead you through the streets of London. I'll show you something to make you change your mind. And have you seen the old man outside the seaman's mission? Fading with the metal ribbons that he wears In our winter city the rain cries little pity For one more forgotten hero and a world that doesn't care So how can you tell me you're lonely And say for you the sun don't shine Take you by the hand, I'll lead you through the streets of London. I'll show you something to make you change your mind. So how can you tell me you're lonely? And say for you the sun don't shine. Let me take you by the hand, I'll lead you through the streets of London. I'll show you something to make you change your mind. Oh, bloody handsome that was, Mike. I enjoyed it thoroughly. Now we're going to pay a visit to our acoustic founder, Bert, in his library for a little poem. The 8 a.m. routine. Every morning, without fail, I take a dish of tay up over the stair to Eben, where she, my deity, delay. And as I go in, not too strong, not too weak, semi pasteurised milk, not too fat, not too thin, I to say in me cheeriest voice, Morning, missus, here it is. Curtains back, what sort of day, misty grey or sunny? How many blackbirds tug in worm? 
How many pigeons, pinching seeds, less of a gang, safety in numbers, flocked for flight, wheeling and dealing all over the town, ascending and diving and spinning round, why a bearer's vision, balancing tea and morning cheer, can wobble and tilt, go ass over tip, if he to follow they pigeon, all tucked up claws and cooing wings, that aerobatic pitching, looping and swooping, feathery flip. Tis another day, take a sip, and wake as slow as a slug. A slug, she cries, and she's out of the bed, twelve bore to her shoulder, window flung wide. Slug, she cry, you're dead, she fires. In slug world, a siren sounds for assembly of mollusk choirs. A cross-making, priestly gastropod packs mother's slug off to his god, or down to that red horticulturalist's blazing and pot-firing fires. Invertebrate slivers and chunks have plastered the whole of the town, even splattered the town all clock, and disrupted they pigeons up sky, flying round, and she, quick as a flash, is back in bed. This tea him very hot. She purses her horticultural lips and fortifies herself with a couple of sips. Not very hot at all. She flings frustration's open palm upward to heaven, and then down it sinks a despairing palm to swipe cold sweat and bits of slug from her delicately wifely brow. And that's what happened, day after day. Morning, dear, dish of tay. Nothing out the ordinary in the garden today. And later, when she's down co-op, a knock on the door, a sorrowful slug. I know you see me pulling the curtains. Thanks, me dear. Here, let me give you a hug. That was brilliant, Dad. One of my favourite poems of yours. Uh, it was a nice insight into life for you and Mum during lockdown as well. I'm glad to hear you're both keeping amused. Uh, next up, we've got a new song from Taylor. I think most of you know that's the duo, which I'm one half of. It's a beautiful song written by Harriet about her mum. Very relatable for anybody missing their mummy out there. I know I am. So obviously because of the lockdown, Harriet and I can't see each other, um, but we're still making music together. Oh, I'm going to look here. Um, so I wanted to share with you the song that we've done together. I don't have a video for it, so I've made some puppets. Enjoy! <laughs> Still 
from Mr. Dave Argyle or more Mr. Dave Argyle's hands. Okay, enjoy and see you next week. So there you go then, that was episode four. Hope you enjoyed it. Wonderful contributions this week, fantastic. Thanks again to Molly who slaps all this stuff together and puts it out as the program. Absolutely brilliant. Keep the contributions coming. Stay well, stay safe. Kurt Opisviken. <laughs>